Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a tripartite summit in Abu Dhabi. The leaders affirmed during the meeting the depth of the brotherly strategic relations between the three countries, highlighting the means of further developing them to achieve joint interests. The leaders also focused on means of bolstering cooperation and integration in a number of vital sectors, particularly health and food and medicine security, as well as the joint efforts to combat the coronavirus and its economic, health and social repercussions. They affirmed the importance of continued coordination and consultation concerning causes of common interest to serve the Arab nation. They also reviewed the latest regional and international developments at the forefront of which is the Palestinian cause. They also noted the importance of realizing comprehensive peace based on a two-state solution, which guarantees the establishment of an independent, sovereign and viable Palestinian state on the lines of June the 4th, 1967, with Jerusalem as its capital. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Abu Dhabi yesterday to participate in a tripartite summit. His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan will also participate in the summit. At the forefront to receive His Majesty was His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty will participate in the summit upon the invitation of His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Palestine, Dr. Mahmoud Ishtaya, who expressed his deepest condolences on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Singapore, Li Long, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he extended his deepest condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Norway, Erna Solberg, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which she extended her deepest condolences. The Ballot of Horses participating in the Bahrain International Horse Race was held today in the presence of the Chairman of the Higher Committee of Rashid Horse Racing and Endorsing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the race will be held on Friday with the participation of riders from across the world. His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mahmoud bin Salman Al Khalifa, sponsors of the race, representatives from Batilko, the EDB, Babco, and a number of owners, trainers, and riders attended the ballot ceremony. The organization of the Bahrain International Horse Race for the second consecutive year constitutes a distinguished event in the history of the Rajat Equestrian Club and confirms the success of the idea of organizing this race, which was launched last year. Horse racing fans around the world are anticipating the start of the Bahrain International Race and the strong and exciting competition between a group of horses that represent a number of stable known from around the world.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziya Zainal received the Information Minister Ali Ramehi. The two sides discussed ways to enhance joint cooperation for the best interest of the nation and the citizens in order to consolidate the national achievements in light of the comprehensive development march of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Speaker lauded the ongoing cooperation between the Council and the Government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressing the importance of enhancing cooperation between the Representatives Council and the Information Ministry. She indicated that supporting national media outlets and press institutions is among the priorities of the parliamentary work in Bahrain, stressing the need to support media and press institutions in light of the repercussions of the pandemic. She praised the Information Ministry's efforts to support the national press and mass media, hailing the progress witnessed by the official media institutions. Romehi affirmed the government's keenness to enhance cooperation with the Representatives Council in order to meet the aspirations and needs of Bahraini citizens. He highlighted the Information Ministry's interest in developing the media system, supporting press and media institutions, as well as consolidating all civilizational practices of freedom of opinion and expression. The minister expressed appreciation to the Council of Representatives for its unwavering efforts to discuss and tackle major national issues, which contributes to ensuring the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in serving the nation and the citizens. The delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain arrived in Israel, led by Foreign Minister Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, with the aim to end all conflicts and instability that afflicted the Middle East for decades and pursue other policies to reach a comprehensive solution that achieves prosperity and development for all. Dr. Zayani made the statement as the official delegation arrived in Tel Aviv on the first visit of its kind to Israel. The delegation was welcomed by Israel Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi, ministers and officials. Dr. Zayani said that the, this visit is a courageous step taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to achieve security, stability and prosperity with the Kingdom playing its pioneering role to achieve peace in the region and the world. This visit is a strategic start to enhance cooperation between Bahrain and Israel in a way that achieves their shared interest, particularly that it will contribute to launching many cooperation initiatives in various fields and will mark a starting point for other anticipated visits. The visit follows agreements in the Declaration to Support Peace and the Declaration of Abraham Principles between Bahrain and Israel, signed in Washington on September 15th. The United Nations Human Settlement Program expressed its deepest condolences to the government and the people of Bahrain over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The UN Habitat affirmed in a letter sent to the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain that it recalls with admiration the constructive cooperation with the Kingdom, which was based on the directives of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, which contributed to realizing the goals of sustainable development and developing the national policy for settlement, as well as implementing number of urban development initiatives with Bahrain. Cassation Court President and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Judicial Council, Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan al bahrainain issued a decision designating two criminal courts. The decision stipulated that the first high criminal court will look into crimes of trafficking in persons and the fourth high criminal court into financial crimes and money laundering. Al Bahrainain said that financial crimes and money laundering are among the most prominent economic crimes that pose a threat to the development projects in the country and harm the economy at all levels. He confirmed that the allocation of a court to look into crimes of trafficking in persons comes as a continuation of Bahrain's role in combating such crimes that violate human rights and fundamental freedoms. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Assoumi, met the Egyptian Senate Speaker, Councillor Abdel Wahab Abdel Razak, at the headquarters of the Senate in Cairo in the presence of a high level delegation. The Senate Speaker expressed congratulations to Al Assoumi on his election as Speaker of the Arab Parliament, wishing him and the members of the new Parliament success in leading Arab parliamentary work towards further development to strengthen Arab solidarity. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament congratulated the Councillor on being elected Speaker of the Senate, affirming that the Senate's return will enrich the Egyptian parliamentary life, which spanned more than 150 years.